So you're ready to make a gift library. Let's break this down. But before we do that, my name is Desiree, and if you're looking to grow your business, better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. I partner up with Tenor so that I can teach you guys all of the good things that you need to know about how to create a gift library. And why am I telling you this on Tenor? Because Tenor is owned by Google. You wouldn't just go put your videos over on Vimeo and hope it's gonna make you money. No, you turn to YouTube. If you wanna find out how to do something on it, you turn to Google. If you wanna have the best gift library for your brand, for your business, that's gonna be in all of the places, you're gonna go to Tenor because Tenor is also owned by Google. They have the largest, biggest, most awesome library for you to choose from that you can use in all of the places. So let's head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how you, yes you, can create your own gift library. Start with Tenor, you're gonna go to tenor.com and then you just go to the upper hand corner, hit sign up and log in. You're gonna put in your desired username. If I encourage you to use the same username that you use for all of your things. So from this, for me, for this, it matches my YouTube and it matches like my Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Use your email address, your desired password, agree to the terms of service and sign up. Now I already have an account, so I'm just going to go log in. And then you can, it'll take you to your GIF library, okay? So I have a couple in here because I was playing with it to figure out how to make it all work. So um, let's get started. So you go up here to upload and you have to drag and drop your clip. Now they need, you can use like a really big file and then cut it down in within the editor or you can just use a pre-cut up stuff. I have pre cut up some clips knowing exactly where I want it to go, but you can edit it, which I'll show you right now. Uh, hover over your image here and you just hit edit. Okay, this is where you can trim any video clip that's an MP4 up to where you want it to go. I've already done this because I knew what I wanted to do. You can also crop it if you wanted to like make it a square or do just like part of your image. You can also use like the predetermined sizes that they have for you as well. But I'm just going to keep this the way it is because I like it nice and big. And then I'm going to go up here to the right where the little text is. This is where I want to write what I want in my uh, my GIF, okay? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to put it where I want it to go by clicking and dragging. I can change the color. But white with the black outline is kind of the standard for GIFs, okay? It looks nice inside and looks nice and big. I'm going to hit create GIF and it's loading my changes. And you can see that's how the GIF will look. Now I need to add my tags. So my tags are going to be what people are actually typing in when they're searching for this particular GIF. So like think about when you go to Facebook or in, in your GIF generator that you have like in your keyboard, uh, that's usually for Androids, you type in like a specific emotion that you're trying to put in there. And so you want to kind of populate what you're trying to express here and thinking about how other people are going to do stuff. And if you notice, I also added my name. I think it's really important that all your GIFs should have your name or your brand name so that it can all go together. And I'm trying to do a dash. You can't use uh, you can't use symbols, I guess, with this. So that's why uh, I was trying to do all in one social media with the dashes. But there you go. So these are the ex this is what I want how I want people to feel um, to find my gift. And so I feel like I'm done here, and I'm going to upload it to Tenor. Okay, it's successfully uploaded, and it's processing it, and it's going to be right here. Currently, you cannot delete a GIF, so um, even if like, you're committed to it, it's not a huge deal. And then we can just kind of select our GIF. I'll select this one since it's one I've done. Okay, and then I can I can heart it or favorite it so that I have it. Um, when you hit caption, what that does is it's going to add have you create a whole new GIF with the text on it. Um, I do not want to do it because I've already done this. Um, it tells you places that you can share it. This is the URL. So if I want to just like give the direct URL, I also can embed this. So like if I wanted to use it for email marketing or on my website, I can do that. And then of course, here are the details like how how big it is or how long it is, how big it is, all the kind of stuff. And then this is where I can go to share it. So I can share an iMessage on Facebook, on Twitter, um, all the different places. You can embed it. You can copy the link. Um, and that is how you create your own gifts and gift library with Tenor. And that's it. I'm dying to see your gift library. So please, in the comment section down below, 
put a link to your gift library so we can all see it and then also start like sharing it ourselves and using it for all of the commenting and all of our posts on the social medias. And hey, if you're wanting to use those gifts for marketing purposes, watch this video here where I tell you how and where and why you should be using them there. And until next time, I'll see you soon.